Hey guys, welcome to another studio vlog. I am so excited to hang out with you today. So today I have a lot of computer work to do. Today we are going to design a base sticker from a painting I painted last fall and then we will be designing business cards because my business cards are like a year old and I have old artwork on the business card and my art has changed a lot within the last year so I really want to get new ones because I have a maker's market coming up in a few weeks. So let's get started on the bee stickers. I got my bee proof back. I'm not sure about the white border around it, so I I asked if they could make the white border around the bee a little thinner. So I think I'm going to see what that will look like and then decide what one I like better. Okay guys, here's an update on the bee stickers. So um, this is the new proof and I like it. I like it a lot better than the previous design. It was like this and now it's like this. So I like this a lot better and let's approve it. I love it. I'm excited about it. Okay. And update on the cards. I I was going to print through cat print, but I've realized that the the other printing company I use, which is Miller's Miller's Professional Imaging. I, I use them for cards and sometimes prints if I need prints like the next day because they, they're very fast. See, like one to two day turnaround. They're super fast. Um, and I realized with cat print, it ends up being a little bit more expensive. Even though you can order, um, even though with cat print, you, you can order as many as you want, like just five or just ten cards. It ends up being a lot more expensive so and then with Miller's I have to order a minimum of 25 cards so even though I have to order a ton and spend more money it is cheaper um, each card is a lot cheaper so that's what I decided about the cards and now I can't decide I, I, I only want to choose like maybe three designs because um because I I don't have the money to buy like six or seven sets that that would be like a few hundred dollars and so I only want to choose maybe three of these designs and I'm going to post it like post some photos to my um Facebook group and have them vote and I'm also going to post some photos in my Instagram stories to have you guys vote because I can't decide. It's really hard to, to decide um, what ones to order, so I'm going to do that. So I have most of my computer work done. I still need to order prints for the Maker's Market in a few weeks, but I think I will instead do that um, in a few days. So for this Maker's Market I'm doing in a few weeks, 
we get to give out a freebie because the first like 150 people get a um, like bag of freebies and I will show you what I'm thinking about doing and we will make them together. So here, let me show you. Okay, first, um, this is me, like my setup mock-up. <laughs> it's not like everything is just a mess right now, but um, this is what all this is. My studio is a complete mess right now. It is like so messy. Um, I'm going to move this table. Um, so for the freebie that I want to put in the bags, like in my goodie bags, are free stickers. So first I, I bought a backing for the stickers. These are just business cards that I bought from Vistaprint. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to cut two little slits here and here. And I'm going to insert a free round one inch sticker. Right now, together, we are going to make those stickers. Okay, so this is the sticker paper I use. Um, in a few vlogs back, you saw me make stickers, like cut out bird stickers that I used with this sticker paper. Yeah, I, I thought I would show you what sticker paper I'm going to use. This is glossy waterproof. And now I will show you um, the stickers I designed and we will print them out and test out this. I, <laughs> I really hope it looks okay. I really hope it works out. trying out these freebie cards with stickers <laughs> and the, this one was too small these were too wide like the cuts were too wide and then this one is okay <laughs> um, but it's not <laughs> nicely done I um, guess it takes practice right? <laughs> This one's okay too. I, I think I kind of like the straight cut instead of the angle cut. And I just, I cut these with an X-Acto knife. So, huh, what do you guys think? I have to do 150 of these. Yay. <laughs> but I... I think it'll be worth it. I think many people will like it, so. Yeah, 85 of the 100 days of watercolor. And this is actually yesterday's painting. I'm a day behind. It's crazy to think that I have painted 85 watercolor paintings. <laughs> and lately I have been thinking about what I'm going to be doing after the challenge because it ends soon. Actually, my husband and I, we are leaving on a two-week trip 
in like one month from today, <laughs> we are going to France and Great Britain. And so I, I won't even be working on something after this challenge until once we get back from that trip. So I've been thinking about, you know, what am I going to do after this challenge and after we get back from our trip? And I feel like my art has changed a lot. I have really fallen in love with watercolors and I see myself now painting with watercolors a lot more than with oil. And it's kind of scary to think um, how much my art has changed and how my my goals have even changed too because um, a few months ago when I was figuring out my 2018 goals, which I, I made a video about, I'll link it in the description of this video or in the card above. I, I was trying to figure out, you know, my 2018 goals, and one of them was getting into galleries. Um, so now I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know if that's the path I want to go down. Like, I, I know that I will still be painting oil paintings, and maybe doing local shows, like entering into local galleries, but I don't see myself solely doing that. Like, that's all I do. I don't see myself doing that anymore. I, I see myself instead focusing more on watercolor, maybe creating more products, like a wider range of products, such as like stationery and I've even thought about like t-shirts, like designing t-shirts or something. So I it's just it's crazy how how much your art journey changes as you explore new mediums and stuff. It's kind of scary, but it's also fun because not everything is like set in stone. You can just evolve as your business evolves, as your art evolves. So that's just something I've been kind of, I guess not really struggling with, but just trying to get more clarity on where I want to go. That if you don't know where you're going, if you don't have clarity, then you won't get anywhere because it's, it's kind of like a road trip, okay? So you let, let's let say you're like, okay, I want to take a road trip to Florida. And you know where you're going. You have a map. You'll get there, right? But if you're like, I'm on a road trip. I don't really know where I'm going. I don't have a map. Then you're just going west and you're going south and you're going all different sorts of directions and you're not really getting to a certain direction to a certain place and so this is kind of like how your business will be your art will be if you just don't really know where you're going so it's good to have clarity and to ask yourself you know where do I see myself in a year? Where do I see myself in two years from now and five years from now? You know, so that is something that I have just been kind of thinking about the last few days because I'm getting towards the end of this challenge. So I thought I would share that with you guys since we're hanging out in my art studio.
some exciting things to show you guys. I just got my print order in and oh my gosh, look at all of these 8x10 prints. I, I think I ordered almost 40. Look at all those. And they are so beautiful. The colors are perfect. I'm very happy with them. I also ordered some test prints of a new print design I did. So this one says, Hello Spring. And this one says, Happy Easter. So now, next, what I'm going to do is that I have an order to package up. Someone ordered herb prints and um, the butterfly stickers, which I actually have one on my water bottle. And it's holding up very well. I already washed this a few times. And then here is the giveaway that I did. It's over now, but now I have to send this out to the winner. So I'm going to package this up too and then go to the post office. to check out now on this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to check out next week's vlog because I would love to hang out with you as I prep for this Maker's Market that's coming up very soon. And I just want you to know that I appreciate every single one of you guys for watching my videos and for supporting my little business and for all of your comments, your likes, and for following me on um, like Instagram and Facebook. So thank you so much. It means a lot to me that you're following along on my art journey. Um, anyways, I'm going to go to the post office and then um, my studio is a total mess right now. So I'm going to try to get organized a little bit and then I will probably start editing this vlog. So have a great day and I'll catch you next week. Bye.